Hello, everybody who was born on February 11th. Yay! It's your birthday. Yay! Happy birthday. I am doing this reading on the 10th because I want to make sure that uh, people on the other side of the world get this. It does uh, become February 11th sooner in other places in the world than it does in America. So I wanted to make sure I get it out. Um, but before I get into your reading, I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. I want to thank you for being here and I want to thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you. The divine values you. And thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I feel really high vibrational. I mean, I normally do, but I feel really good. And I think it's your energy. So thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. Um, basically, it's like I have an energy boost. All right. And we're going to say a quick prayer and then we're going to get into your reading. Okay. Our Father in Heaven, I'd like to thank you for the many blessings that you've given to myself and the fellow Aquarians here. I'd like to definitely thank you for all the people you've brought to me through my channel, because through you, only this would be possible. And I'd like to ask for protection for all of us here, protection from harm, illness, evil eye, and protection for our loved ones. And I'd also like to ask permission to be able to take a peek into the February 11th Aquarians for the overall energy, positive energy, and things that are coming towards them for 2024. So please allow me to be able to see that for the Aquarians born on February 11th, of, of the positive things for 2024. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So we're going to get into divine messages, your chakra messages, health and wellness here. Basically, it's, it's chakra is kind of like part of that, but it's more of the metaphysical energy that you're in. Love, for those of the, you who want to know about love, do a tarot spread, and then we're going to close out with the enchanted map, as I normally do for the advice. So let's just get into your reading here. I've done a pre-shuffle, cleanse the cards, and we'll see what wants to come out for those beautiful souls that are born February 11th. Interesting that these cards are all mixed up. In different, okay, I think it's just that one. It was like in a different direction here. That's interesting. That might be significant. You might be going in a particular direction this year and then just switch direction, get turn around. Okay, that might be significant. Um, so show me what I need to see for those born on February 11th. Overall positive energy that's coming toward them for 2024. Thank you. Anything else? Well, it's out. <laughs> it came out and it came out pretty quick here. Wow, and it says decisions. How ironic was that? I'm telling you, there's never a coincidence in life. Literally, as the card changed direction, you might have a decision, okay, also. So it says, perfect actions are shown. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can offer all decisions to you. May I trust during times of transition that the perfect actions will be shown. Grant me patience to allow events to line up as they need to. And trust me, by the way that these things came out and how everything was going in one direction, and then one card literally was went in the other direction, and I think that's you. I don't think you're going to follow something this year, whether it's a status quo, whether it's others. You're changing. You're going to be that, that salmon that's swimming upstream. When everything else is going that way, you're going to go the other way. I don't know what that means, okay? I don't know how, <laughs> how it's going to play out. Anyway, let's see what's going to go on here in your chakra space. Show me the overall positive messages for those born on February 11th for 2024. Show me overall positive messages for those born on February 11th, 2024, please. 2024 energy. Thank you. Creative expression. She looks like she's playing an instrument, but really it's a creative expression that flows from herself because she's just holding on to her hair. <laughs> so definitely something you might be creatively expressing a part of yourself that is a natural part of you, comes from you, flows through you. And I don't know if I'm saying it right, so I'm not trying to botch the word, but it's Saraswati, creative expression, 
Use your creative gifts and exploration as a way to expand and grow. So there is something here that you're going to use that's from yourself. You're going to expand on it and you're going to grow. And I think that you're going to even grow through it um, as you start it. It's, it's sort of like when you start doing something on your journey, right? It's not your destination. It's something you started. Look, there's another card here. All these cards are supposed to face this way, and there's one that's going the other way. I'm telling you, February 11th, children, there is something to this. Two decks where the card was going the opposite way, and everything else was going that, the other direction. You are going to be the salmon who goes upstream. You're going to get, go against the flow of something, but it's to your benefit, and probably to the benefit to the rest of us as well. Um, and we have... Ganesh, we have abundance of earth. Release the obstacles to receiving abundance in perfect form. You going in another direction might be literally releasing that which holds you back. Not going with the status quo. Not going, not following the crowd. And as I say that, here's a person who's alone. <laughs> Reflection. Hero pose. Embark on the journey to invite acceleration of your soul's path here on earth. So this is also throat chakra here, throat chakra, root chakra. So we have two throat chakras. We have a root chakra and we have decisions. And definitely you're going to go in an opposite way as somebody or as a people or whatever. You're going to, I feel like you're probably going to stand out and be a leader. You're not going to be a follower. Show me what I need to see here for those born February 11th overall energy for 2020. For positive energy for 2024, those who are born on February 11th. Thank you. Anything else? Okay, I guess that's that. I have another health and wellness deck here. Show me what I need to see for those born on February 11th. Overall energy for... 2024 positive energy overall positive energy for 2024 those born on february 11th thank you anything else thank you anything else thank you all right on here on the bottom i just want you to see and i think that this will come out in a future reading because i think you're on a level of the ascended masters that's what you're headed to it's an underlying message here, and I do feel that you're going to stop going in a direction very strongly and go into another direction. And just so you know, it's to the direction of the Ascended Masters. Now look at the differences, the cultural differences, the backgrounds and the beliefs of these Ascended Masters. But they're all going to the same place, right? God, Source, Creator, Universe, whatever your word for it is. Because it literally depends where you come from, right? Allah, wh wherever you come from, it depends on what your word for creator is and um, this is where you're headed and it may um, I'm guided to tell you a little story real quick it may go against the path you've been taught and I'll give you an example I grew up in a very strict strict um, Christian home but I have um, I'm doing tarot, okay? Most people were raised in these Christian homes. Do you, this is the devil. This is sorcery. I'm a fortune teller. I'm the devil. You should not, not believe me, okay? But this is why I always say free will is what takes precedence, okay? I'm just reading energy. It doesn't mean it's your energy or anyone else's. It's just energy that's out there, right? But I had to go against the grain. I had to go against what my family believed, and I had to um, go against what people saw the path that I should go. And I, I had butted a lot of heads to get into tarot. And I still do. I still sometimes get comments about it. So you may have to go, you know, when you stop following others, you may have a very deep um, sort of experience within yourself where you might even shut down for a while and you might even say to yourself, I need to figure this out, what path I'm on, if it's okay. Am I doing the right thing, right? Because we all want to ascend. We all want to make it to the other side, you know? So just keep that in mind. If there's something like that, you sit down, you talk to your creator yourself, 
and see what answers you get, okay? Just you and Source. Just sit there, pray, or ask. Say, please show me my path, my way. I'm ready to be on my path. I'm ready to um, do what I set out here to do. And then sit in silence and see what happens or see what pops up in your feed or see what people talk to you about in conversations because you will often get answered through other people. You'll get answered through what comes up in your feed or you could literally sit in silence and just sort of words or expressions or a feeling might flow through you. Pay attention to all that. Now, what came out of one of the decks, it says, Second Opinion, and Dear God and Archangel Raphael, guide me to the best healthcare professional for this situation. So, if there's anything that um, you're dealing with when it comes to your physical well-being, it might be time to get a second opinion, okay? Whatever that is, whatever kind of um, issue that you're dealing with, a second opinion, okay? doesn't hurt. Then we have vegan diet, vegetarian, vegetarian or vegan. So um, I think what vegetarians, it's mostly like vegan, but they eat fish and they eat eggs and honey um, and cheese, but they don't literally eat um, like red meat or chicken or anything like that. I'm not 100% on that. I try to mostly eat raw fruits and vegetables myself. It's a process I've been doing just because I feel better. Me personally, I feel better when I eat that way. But this is talking about fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. So, and that's so true, especially as you get older and there are things with hormones and energy levels and things like that. The more high frequency food, no chemicals, no preservatives, no processing, you actually feel better. When you get older, you won't have like the sludgies so much. You won't feel so tired and all of these things. So it's something to think about, um, but it's still important to get your, you know, your protein in. Obviously, I drink a lot of protein. Uh, I have protein shakes and things like that, but, you know, it's up to you. I'm not here. I'm not here to advise you. I'm definitely not a doctor, okay? I'm just, this is my own journey, and I'm just sharing a part of what has helped me we have law of attraction and it says relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. And that's why there was a card turned in the other direction. You're not following what you used to follow. And that might be on more than one level. You might not be following advice, might not be following the crowd, might not be following a person, whatever. It's different. You're taking charge of your own life. And it says, Crown Chakra, pay attention to your ideals as they are messages of the divine guidance, of true divine guidance, sent and answers to your prayers. And I would just talk about that. Um, and it's true. So your prayers will be answered. Just ask. Pray and ask. And just pay attention for how that answer comes. All right. Those who want to know about abundance and love that's what we're getting into next abundance and love show me what i need to see for the aquarians born on february 15th when it comes to no february 11th why did i say 15th why did i say 15th that's interesting Maybe something interesting will happen on February 15th. I don't. I know it's not the new moon. We had that on February 9th. Tell me about February 11th. Tell me about February 11th. This happened in one other, uh, one other reading. And it was significant at least to one person. Um, but a couple of people. So that might be significant for someone out here that date. Anything else? We got face your financial fears. Anything else for February 11th? Anything else for February 11th? 2024 energy here. Okay. So, face your financial fears. If there's anything that you have a fear about, okay? When you're honest with yourself about your fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. That's true. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled and with and released this self-doubt. So 
whatever you're afraid of, just give it to God, give it to source, give it to the higher power, and just say, you know, I, I don't want to have to um, experience these energies. Help me release the fear. Take a divinely guided chance, okay? And all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. And you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind, which is comfortable and familiar, but you know is no longer appropriate for you. You make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. And I feel like with these two cards, some of you are going to change your career, okay? Or some of you are going to leave a job to open up your own thing. And I, I feel strongly that it, there could be a fear with that, right? Because I'm used to this. I get paid. I feed my family with this. You know, I live comfortably with this. What if this doesn't work? Um, and I'll give you an example. If anybody saw, and not everyone saw this movie because it didn't play every, everywhere, but this, the Sound of Freedom, I, I watched that movie. And that person, um, I think it was the FBI agent, they lost, they, they were told to stop investigating or they'd lose their job. So they took the job loss to continue to expose and to do what they had to do, okay? That's when they stopped working for whoever they were working for, okay? And they went and worked for God, okay? And it was definitely this person had to let go of a lot of, um, you know, this person didn't know how they were going to live. Their whole family survived on their income. And where do you go, you know, to do something after that? Who funds all of this? But it worked out. It worked out for that person. So take a divinely guided chance, especially if you're afraid um, of how you're going to get your income. As long as you're following, you're following God, you're following creator, source here, you're not, you're not going to starve, okay? You're going to be t taken care of and provided for. Show me what I need to see when it comes to love for those born on February 11th. Show me what I need to see when it comes to love for those born on February 11th. Overall energy for 2024. Show me what I need to see when it comes to love. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. And I'm going to get from this Lover's Oracle as well. Show me what I need to see when it comes to those born on February 11th. Thank you. Overall energy 2024. Thank you. I see passion. All right. So we have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. All right. So no matter what, whoever you're dealing with, whenever you're dealing with them, just be honest. Don't hold your, don't hold your fears. Don't hold your, you know, um, it's not being hurtful to be honest. Okay. There's a way sometimes people, you know, like kids can be brutally honest, right? <laughs> Kid looks at you and says, you're fat. <laughs> you know, um, I remember being pregnant and the kid would, <laughs> kid came up and told me that. And it's just, you know, there's a way to express oneself. All right. But to have an honest heart to heart conversation and just be like, you know, I'm feeling a certain way about this or about you or about where things are headed or whatever. Because if you're literally changing some sort of direction this year, just have a heart to heart conversation with whomever you need to about it and just let it be at that. Then it's up to them to deal with what you said. You didn't hurt them. You actually hurt yourself when you don't follow your divine purpose. At some point you are sacrificing yourself. And as I say that, I didn't even know this card was here. Free yourself. Then, then once you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, then free yourself. You're done with it. Literally what I just said here. Then it's their problem. So it's time to take back control of your life. So in a sense, you're giving yourself some sort of freedom from something this year. That's a very good thing. You're freeing yourself. Oh, there's a hidden one. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And we got <laughs> release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So some of you are going to be releasing an X, whatever. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with having a heart to heart conversation about it. Now we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So um, 
this may be something that you decide to do around the holidays or after the holidays. Or I, I don't know. Is there ever a good time to do something like that? But like I said, not every single message will apply. It could be one or two apply when it comes to this. These are sort of oracle messages. Anyway, we have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So maybe there's something you're trying to achieve. Just give it a little more time. Might be trying too hard. We have passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present, so enjoy it. So I feel that you're in an empress energy, whether it doesn't matter your gender, I feel you're in an empress energy of attraction, okay, attracting. And it says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you'll be surprised where it leads. But I'm telling you, your flow is going to turn around and go opposite. That is going to be your natural flow. Um, going with the flow of spirit, going with the flow of source of God is going to take you off the flow and the pattern of where everyone else is going. Who's around you? Your flow is going to be like a salmon. I want you to remember that. Your flow is going to be a salmon swimming upstream against all the odds, all the current, and you're built for it. Just like the salmon is built for it, you're built for it. And that's going to be your natural flow, just like it's the salmon's natural flow to swim upstream. Let's get into the tarot. So show me what I need to see for this birthday reading for those born on February 11th. Show me what I need to see. And this wants to come out, but I'm going to put it back in. I'm going to show it to you. This is travel and fast communication, and it's very positive. Show me what I need to see for those born on February 11th. Overall positive energy for 2024. Show me what I need to see for those born on February 11th. Positive messages for 2024 basic basic issue here positive positive please okay all right so you might be stuck on healing and ouchie here okay um you might be focused on creating a better life for yourself all right improving your circumstances or whatever that is we have the three of swords in reverse for me that's wanting to that's healing and recovery and we have the eight of swords and it has a lot to do with what's been on your mind so something that's that's taken a lot of your focus you're now shifting that focus into healing you're shifting and that is a very uh common theme of what's going on for you guys this year you're shifting your focus um to your higher timeline to your natural flow where you flow with you in source you're shifting those timelines and you're definitely healing some stuff here you're moving beyond so there's going to be something that's been on your mind here but let's clarify because <clears throat> the eight of swords is if a person felt stuck somewhere it was all in the mind because really this person could just get up and go what was keeping a person stuck was their perception their thoughts tell me about this um basic issue for this reading happiness leo energy maybe some people are healing from a leo or healing from some sort of family you know there are three people here and there's the sun and page of wands it's like somebody's kind of taking a journey alone here but the person is looking at the cat for a reason cats are very independent it's also a lot of divine feminine yen energy not gender but it's it's a very independent energy think of a cat how independent it is and think about how dogs are more codependent right dogs rely on us to feed them cats do too but if somebody doesn't feed a cat a cat will go out and you know like where i live they'll hunt a lizard or they'll hunt a bug or a mouse or a rat or something and literally i see a lizard here so this is very interesting because it reminds me of the fool card with the sack, the sort of, um, you know, carrying things, just what they need and going out on a trail here. And it's like this page of wands on the bottom of the deck tells me that it's something that you're going to be going alone at. Like I said, all the cards were facing one direction and then one card went the other way. And that's you. You're going to be going in another direction. 
and just let the, the spirit of the cat remind you. Okay, I want you to think of a salmon and a cat. You're going to be f going upstream, but it's you're going to be your natural flow, and you're going to be very independent like this cat. This cat always uses its instincts, knows where to go, and it always finds another cat to mate with. It will find another cat to spend time with, but there are many times where this cat will be alone, and it will just bask in the sun or just sit there in presence. So think of the energy of the cat when it comes to this new journey. You're going to be fine. Give me another aspect to this. And you might be leaving a home. You might be leaving a situation here, okay? You might be leaving a job, too. I saw the Eight of Pentacles. It could be a job. Sometimes that Four of Wands is the, also shows up as the job. It's like the second home. But it's for your higher path. I just saw the Awakening card. And you're going to align. Look at that. You're going to align. So if you're going to another job with this Eight of Pentacles, you're going to align with the right job, right? Your divine job, whatever it is. Or if you're opening your own thing, you're aligning. And you're going to align with another individual here. Okay, whatever it is. Whatever it is that you're doing, that you're thinking of, because it's on your mind, it's going to work out to you. For you, I mean. It's going to work out for your highest timeline. Give me another aspect to this. We have the Page of Swords reverse. That to me is more of... Um, it's really looking into something can even be intrusive like spying and then we have the world which is reverse and fixed energy which is aquarius energy leo taurus and scorpio energy but here will of fortune so sagittarius energy right there whatever this is maybe because like i said i'm doing a reading for the entire year maybe this change or shift could happen in sagittarius season or maybe jupiter in your chart has some sort of significance to this it doesn't have to mean any of that by the way but it's your time to shine she is on top of the wheel of karma here which means life gets better life gets better here but something here Maybe you're wondering if it's too late for something with this world reverse and this page of swords reverse. Maybe you're wondering if it's too late to do some sort of dream. But anyway, it's showing a lot of positive um, like support here with that wheel of fortune. So tell me about this. Why is the page of swords and the, and the world reverse? Why is the page of swords and the world reverse? The moon reverse. Pisces, Cancer energy. Ace of Swords. Hmm. I think, um, you're cutting off a situation that's taken too long to grow. Okay? This is what I think from the bottom of the deck. And I think what happens here someone doesn't someone doesn't like it so it's like when you're ready kind of like the story i told you when i went to take tarot and there was a lot of people against it i think it's going to be like that when you decide okay february 11th aquarians when you decide to change this direction and stop going in the direction of whatever everyone else is doing somebody's not going to like it because you're going to let them know you know you're going to let them know um They're not going to like, they might not even believe you, even with that Ace of Swords reverse um, and with that Moon reverse. But now, on another side of the coin, if someone has lied to you, um, you know, you may expose that and just be like, you know, I don't want to stay together with you because, you know, we have all of these assets or all of these things and we should just sort of stay together but i don't feel like it's so much as that it could be but this is also this is more or less someone doesn't really like 
when you cut off them or they or whatever it is because this, this is something that's been on your mind that's why it finally comes out the moon is reversed whatever has been on your mind in a situation you've just not been happy you're not growing spiritually it literally comes out but someone doesn't like it and, it, and if it has to do with work somebody it, and contractual work because sometimes that ace of swords is signing the new contract you know renewing a contract renewing this or renewing that and uh, you're like no I, I don't want to do that I want to pursue this there's something here I want to pursue, and it could be something that um, you're wondering if it was too late to pursue, you know, it's, it's something there. But whatever has been sort of eating up your time, okay, I have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom, Virgo energy, I have the Queen of Swords, Libra energy, literally she cuts stuff off that just isn't serving her, and she realizes it's karmic, and it is. Uh, Queen of Wands, you could literally be cutting off an Aries, but you could literally just be cutting off a situation that's just not meant for you. You're not aligned with it no more. Your energy, none of it is aligned with it, so it's time. It's time. And it's very positive, because now, after you cut that energy, whatever it is, whoever it is, once that energy is cut, you're literally going toward and aligning with another uh, with your divine energy, with everything meant for you from the divine. You're, you're on the divine purpose, and you're going to be aligning with the divine people. And you're going to feel very, um, you're going to fit right in. Fit right in in a relationship, fit right in in a job, fit right in in a community, a country, whatever it is. Because sometimes that's traveling. What's the root here? All right, so some, some people are literally cutting off from a person, a person who's just been very inconsistent, and it's just taken too long to figure out what the hell they want to do, and it's just led to a lot of unhappiness, and it's like, I'm over it. You know, I'm making peace with it. I'm going to just, you know, I'm over it, <laughs> okay? Um, and some of you, maybe you've already done this, and it's somebody who's going to return because you're like, I, I cu you cut them off because everyone's on different timelines here. But for some, it's like, I'm not going to waste my energy on this, um, you know, inconsistent energy because I told you I felt like you're in an energy of attracting the yin energy. And the root problem is, yeah, you're not getting what's yours. Basically, you're supposed to be this in the upright. Literally, it's a card of Libra Taurus, but don't worry about that. I'm reading energy. Everyone can be an empress. The empress attracts. But because you've been sacrificing yourself and your time and your energy on whatever has not been real and solid for you in your life you take some sort of hard look at these things and you tell people look i am moving on you have a heart to heart but it's not to hurt them it's just because you you've got to move on so you can grow and literally you know you grow because i have the six of wands here this person has a lot of recognition, which tells me you have so much potential, and that potential has been put on hold because of waiting on this other this other situation that hasn't. It's just taken too long. It just hasn't nothing come come from it, other than it's in and out, off and on, or whatever. And uh, it's all about your happiness. I got the sun reversed twice. This is on the bottom of the deck. I got the sun reverse over here. But I also got healing and I got making peace with it. So whatever it is, you're making peace with this. And it's almost like this is your last year to be sad, but not the whole year. Like you're already thinking of this as I do this reading. So you're already thinking about making improvements to your life. Things that will bring you happiness. And some of you, it might be returning to an old ideal of doing something for from your creative self something that literally comes from within you like her you know she looks like she's playing an instrument but she's really just holding on to her own hair it's a creative spark from within you 
grounding and um with this root chakra definitely do meditations meditations don't hurt anyone and you don't have to do any guided meditations you don't have to do anything complicated just sit in silence and stillness and and if you can be in nature fine because you want to listen to the little noises you want to you want to be in touch with your environment because that spaciousness is where God is at. You don't want to be around a bunch of distracting man-made noises. Give me a card to describe the root here. Give me a card to describe the root. So down here I have Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, and um, Taurus energy on the root. It landed on release your ex. You know, I heard when I saw the card honeymoon, some some of you might have one last hurrah or you guys might have a vacation together and then it literally ends. And it's not because you planned it the way that way. I'm gonna tell you something here in a minute. You have four cups. You're in your you're in your thoughts here. You're already you already know you're not happy with the way things are going. You're just sitting here trying to figure out <laughs> probably how to re-manifest, how to redo something in your life for you. And the story comes back to me. Um, I had a I had a breakup with a boyfriend once, and it happened literally. This was several years ago, or many many years ago, and um, we had a um, we had a great vacation. <laughs> we had a blast, but. Um, it was more like we were friends at this point. It wasn't even like we, it was almost like we were roommates and friends. The love had gone, the love was gone. And if it was ever there, I'll even question that if it was ever there. But right after we had a, a, a vacation, um, literally it was over. So, you know, and I wasn't planning it. It just, it was so rapid and so spontaneous. I just had some sort of aha moment. And that was it. So just keep that in mind. That might be for somebody here. Whether it's work or love or whatever. Show me what about the uh, past here. And there's something to do with some sort of, you know. If someone's not sabotaging themselves, they, they were in a situation. There was just too much sneakiness. And that could be with this knight of wands show me the past energy between um or whatever whatever you want to show me for the february 11th aquarians show me the past which could be this year so the past energy is saying i really need to raise my timeline i really need to get into a higher vibration here um change i need change Scorpio energy, Pluto energy, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Below that is the Four of Wands. And I literally feel like it's just what I said. There was something that was, it might have started off great for you, but you stopped growing. And there could have been a tower and an ending. You're like, I'm out. Aquarius here, I'm out. But you would have thought about this long and hard here, about starting over. But it does lead to somebody on your timeline at some point okay you gotta you gotta finish one timeline okay before you can you gotta jump over so you, this is oh look at this aquarius was here i didn't see that this was hiding under here how ironic i just saw it so in the past you've been thinking about i need a change i need a change i'm not growing and i want to grow i want to ascend i'm not Whatever this circumstance is, whatever these people are around me, I'm just not growing. Things aren't, there's no, there's no transformations, there's nothing. And I, I have this wish. Now, what is this wish? You see how this comes from, from her. She's holding this in front of her heart. What is it you've been wishing for? A true wish and a true desire for yourself. And it aligns you. You could be a star seed. I mean, most, most there's a lot of star seeds here, okay, incarnated. And whatever it is, it is going to align you with a very beautiful energy. Show me about the past. Yeah. So the past or the recent past, you've been thinking about this, okay. 
you've been literally thinking about bouncing out of a situation okay literally just like i need to switch i need to do literally uh, a 180 here and just turn around and go the opposite way because i'm not growing to go this way anymore what is the goal what is the goal for the february 11th aquarians what's the goal 2024 I can tell that you're moving in a positive direction and it's not easy. You've had to put a lot of thought into it, but you know at the end of the day, you're not growing spiritually. And that's the truth. And there's a lot here about healing. You know that you need to heal from something. You know you need to heal from something. You've got the high priestess there. And then when we have the three of swords starting off with this, you know it's time to heal something. I can't tell you what that is because... There's a lot of people born on February 11th, but there's something that it's time to heal. It's just time. Now's the time. It's uh, too much time has been wasted. Too much self-sacrifice has been involved. And it's just time to heal. And it's time to heal yourself. Okay. And, and it, it has a lot to do with a loss of love. Okay. A loss of love here. Some sort of love. You know, if anyone lost or miscarried, it can even be like healing the body. You know, like people who get um, issues, um, hormonal problems and imbalances because we did see, get a second opinion. So if anybody has had continuous miscarriages and somebody said, well, you've got fibroids or you've got PCOS and just forget it, like get a second opinion. That's specific, not for everyone, but I'm only saying that because the Ace of Cups is in the reverse and something about healing here. Tell me, and that High Priestess is Pisces energy, strong Pisces here with that Hangman as well, and Virgo energy, so if that's important or anyone has it in their chart. Tell me about this. What crowns this here? Now we have the Lovers, Gemini energy in the reverse, and Ten of Wands. Some of you are leaving behind a person who's just been too inconsistent. It's, it's a twin flame divine counterpart. It's just been like, you know, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> I can't wait for them anymore. I just got to, I got to do my thing. Um, it's just not reciprocal possibly. But anyway, it's a decision more often than not, regardless of the lovers, um, regardless of Gemini or twin flame, it's a decision. And there's something around this decision. And I got to say this because it's what I pretty much channeled. But if you notice, this person's walking uphill with their stuff. And their cat. And I did pick up on the whole salmon going uphill, upstream, I should say. This person has got all of their things and moving up. You could be moving up. You could be moving upstate. You could be moving literally away. Um, but whatever it is, it's your way. It's your path. And it's away from everyone else. And if there's that opportunity, yes, that's what, that's for you. All right. What is the future here? What's the future for the February 11th Aquarians? We have the Hierophant reverse. We have the Three of Wands reverse. That's a break of a contract. Literally, like I said over here when I saw this uh, Ace of Swords reverse, it could be not renewing a contract, not renewing uh, whatever, you know, or ending something based on a lie because we do have something here that, with this inconsistency. But whatever it is, you're not moving forward with a person or a soul contract or a literal contract anymore whatever and you've learned something here you've learned something you've learned that being tied to whatever this is whatever contract this is it's not for your highest good and you you want your highest good okay you want to improve yourself your health your money whatever because five of pentacles is a loss it's a loss of health it's a loss of money it's a loss of a person period so you're going to recover yourself and in order to recover yourself, you must break away from whatever this contract is. And sometimes, sometimes it's even school. I mean, the Hierophant is here. The Hierophant can be a school or an institution. You can be breaking away from some sort of 
but it is it does look like it's marriage okay it does look like that because I also have the justice here and I have the emperor so it does look like you're either breaking away from a marriage or twin flame or something like that or you're breaking away from a situation to move toward a union with the twin flame because it's also that because we have justice and the and, and this and the upright it's going to be different some people will move away from a twin flame some people will move toward a twin flame it all depends on timelines and go with what you feel because you feel it you absolutely feel it it's time to heal something but it's within yourself but if you are dealing with a twin flame that is yourself and another body so that falls under that category so but whatever it is you're going to know you are definitely leaving something okay looks like a person or a place you're leaving a person or a place or a thing behind to align with another person place or thing okay what's the self position here what's the self position What's the self-position for those born on February 11th? You might going to get out more. Maybe you've been cooked up too much. It's the hermit reverse. Maybe you're done healing. Maybe you were in the dark night of the soul. Okay, maybe you were not knowing what to do. You could have been in a state of depression, and that's what you've decided. You're not going to do no more this year. This can be your year of that coming out of the dark night of the soul if you were experiencing that okay that type of depression you would be coming out of it but either way you're in an energy of i'm coming back okay <laughs> i'm coming back this is my comeback all right i'm not following the rest of you okay whatever that is you're making your own comeback here so that's good there's a lot of self-love here that's virgo energy tell me about the hermit reverse like I said, depending on your timelines, depending if you were dealing with a twin flame and if you've done all of this other things and walked away, like if you already walked away from this person, this could be a person who went through a dark night of the soul and resurfaces. That's only if you're dealing with a twin flame. That is specific. But you are resurfacing. But I'm telling you, whatever whatever you're leaving behind and whatever you're aligning with, it's beautiful. It's, it's your happiness here. And I see kids and I see a baby. So, and I did see that Ace of Cups in reverse. Now, when I sometimes when I see this and I see that Ace of Cups reverse, sometimes it's a child that's in heaven waiting to come in to uh, be born to its parents, whoever its parents are going to be here. So just keep that in mind. I see the vegetables again and the fruits and the cat. So just pay attention to what you put in your body and drink lots of water. Some of you can be leaving a parent, um, a parent of one of your of your children or one of your children, and and meeting the one here and having an, and starting a new family, and that's whether you're doesn't matter what your gender is you could you know be a man starting a, a relationship with a woman and she gets pregnant and you could be a woman starting a relationship with a man and get pregnant or you guys could be in a same-sex marriage and you could adopt there's still children trying to come in okay or some there's other ways I have I actually have two friends um, they they had biological children they they went and did the whole medical thing so just know that you could be having a child with this person if you're still able to but either way it doesn't matter i want to get beyond that this is about coming out all right whatever direction you're going toward it's going toward another person and it's a lot of happiness depending on the timeline some of you are moving away from a person because it's taken too long and then there's some sort of healing that happens. And then we have here again the lovers. And some of you are making peace. And you guys are making up with your twin flame. So I'm just saying it, it's it's a broad message. But there's I have to because I see it here. Some are moving away from everything else to go toward their counterpart. And some are moving away from their counterpart. 
or their job or whatever situation it is to go in a better direction for themselves and then they align with a person what's the environment yep this is what's meant to happen this keep this has come out like three times it's wanted to pop out now it's here For those of you who've left a twin flame or counterpart behind, you got them thinking right here about forsaking all others right here. Yeah, they're up in their head. Keep doing what you're doing because that means you're ascending. All right, but tell me about the two of cups. You're still aligned. You're still aligned for this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You're aligned to have this happiness, this union with somebody. Two of cups. seven of wands yeah somebody is surrendering to a connection it would be the yang the yang energy will surrender so um and you're not going to refuse this person either okay whoever this is what's the hope and the fear what's the hope and the fear the fear is not being happy here i've had the sun come out you know twice reverse or maybe it's a fear of reconnecting with a leo we have the six of pentacles here you know maybe it's a fear of reconnecting with a, a person here if it's going to end up like that and uh, tell me about the sun reverse it's only in the hope and the fear okay so it'd be a fear at this point hoping for happiness uh, fearful of not having it but it looks more or less like somebody is um Somebody is wondering, does, you know, whoever, you know, have anybody else, five of wands here. Um, also, if there's anything about work, okay, if there's anything about work here, might have some fear about work and about all the job duties um, and where your place is and work, but... I see nothing but, yeah, it's going to work out for you. So don't worry. Like, if it has something to do with work, you're, the, you're like a favorite. You're like a teacher's pet. You're like a favorite here. You stand out from the crowd. Um, and you might literally have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, okay? Someone might literally tell you, like, hey, Aquarius, you don't have anything to worry about here. You know, this is your position, Three of Pentacles. We're going to be working together on this. Don't worry about these other people if it's something like that. But it's also, you're still working with someone else here. All right, we do have the Three of Pentacles. And if it's a scholarship or something like that, you've, you're going to have that too because I do have the Hierophant. But I have the Hermit Reverse. This is that Virgo energy. It's in reverse. And I have the Knight of Wands Reverse. So... This is going to present itself to you and it's going to be very stable and very solid because the Ace of Pentacles is in the upright. This inconsistency or whatever it's been, it's not going to be anymore. It's going to present itself to you and it's going to be solid. It's obviously up to you to accept it. Show me what the outcome looks like according to this energy. Remember, our free will can always change energy because nothing overrides free will, but... As this reading looks like for you guys, born on February 11th, let's just see where it looks like it's headed. Okay. We have the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands. This person, it's, it's, I think it's showing up this person. Somebody. Somebody here. And it looks like a masculine because I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, King of Pentacles in the reverse, and the three of three of Cups reverse and the Tower. Okay. Somebody is making a plan. Like for some of you, this is the person going through this and you don't even know it. This is a person who wants to return and, and align with you. And they're about there. They're at the 9. The goal is the 10, which means there's no more beyond the 10. After 10, you start back at 1 again. This person is making a plan. If this is a person returning to you, they're making a plan and they're not telling a soul about it. A nobody. Because they're literally, they are the ones dumping somebody. 
okay? But if this is you, and this is not about anybody returning to you, if this is you, you're about ready to move, bounce, or whatever, and you're not telling anybody. You have made this plan, and you have not told a soul. I don't know. You, you know, that's why I say you can put yourself where you need to go, because it can go. It's the energy here. But the energy is, I'm moving away from shady characters. I'm moving away from low vibrational people. I'm moving toward people and a person on my level. And I'm about ready there. I'm about there. I'm on the precipice of doing this. Because this is sideways. But no matter what it is, you're not telling your plan. And if someone's coming toward you, they're not telling their plan. So it would be even a surprise. So just keep those, t those things open and available. But either way... It's all to your highest timeline. Because literally this person is moving away from everybody else over here. Everybody else is here. See all the cards are on this side? This person's like, I'm out. I'm going opposite of you guys. Give me a card to clarify. The hangman. Yeah, it's all in the process. It's all in the process. Nine of swords. There's been a lot of thought given to this. Pisces energy, um, it's what's in your deepest emotions or what is in someone else's deepest emotions. Like I said, it could be someone about ready to come toward you and there's a union, but it can be also you going completely in another direction and you're, you, you, you would know because you've put so much thought into it because there's nothing, there's so much thought into this that it's not even funny. So if you haven't put thought into nothing like this, this person is coming towards you and they've put a ton of thought and they will resurface. Either way, it's all good for you. Every bit of it's good for you. Let's get some advice. Show me what I need to see for those born on February 11th. Show me the advice, please, for those born on February 11th. Show me the advice, please. golden palace and that's where you're headed you're headed to your golden palace this is your divine destiny this is where you're headed this whole reading is your divine destiny i'm going to name that to divine destiny because this whole reading is about putting you exact you know at the seat god wants you in it's your divine destiny golden palace in the upright the golden palace card represents good fortune ambitions fulfilled wealth and prosperity it may also indicate emotional fulfillment and yes because we got this here it will be emotional fulfillment at some point for you okay also emotional fulfillment as perhaps you're entering a time of happiness that's long overdue the hangman was here how many times twice yeah, long overdue for sure. No matter how abundant, excuse me, it says long overdue. The message here is that self-worth isn't measured by what you have. No matter how abundant your life is, instead it comes from what you are, how authentically that you're living your life and how much love you're willing to share. Granted, receiving this card does indicate material gain and a furthering of tangible rewards. But things come and go, and knowing your true value leads to even greater riches now. Share the wealth. <laughs> you're, you're, I'm getting goosebumps, you guys. Aquarians born on February 11th, you guys are headed to your highest timeline, your divine destiny. No matter how all this plays out, it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if someone's coming back to you or if... You're leaving people and you're finding someone. It's a, it's, you are headed to your divine destiny. You're not going to miss this boat, this train, this plane. You're going to get on it. It's meant for you. And it's going to be a lot of happiness, abundant su success, wealth. And you're going to have enough to share and help. 
anyway, have a happy birthday. Yay! I love you guys. I'll see you in your regular collective Aquarian reading. Namaste, my friends.